Today on Tech Tuesday, a billionaire says he wants to build a city of the future and he hopes to do that in the middle of the desert. Hmm, okay. Plus, Volkswagen is joining the race for robotic self-driving taxis. Joining us live to break down those headlines and more is our tech expert, Greg Nibbler. Hey, Greg, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, some interesting things here today. So this first one, it really is kind of just a little bit of nostalgia combined with the Volkswagen with their ID Buzz. And so the ID Buzz is essentially the microbus. And uh, the microbus is, is something that I think we're all familiar with, that classic Volkswagen vehicle that uh, we all saw from the, from the 70s. And now they've got this version they're showcasing in Germany. Mm -hmm. This one is combined though with some high tech AI to make it completely autonomous. And so what they wanna do is launch a fleet of robo taxis with this thing to where you would have this uh, starting off in Germany in 2025. So it's a little bit of ways out, but they're gonna be testing these on the road. So all electric, AI included, completely autonomous, some high-end stuff to where it can actually read out about 1300 feet around the car. So that's a lot of info coming in all at once. And you've got that side of it. And then on top of that, this ID Buzz is also though going to be coming to the US. So it's gonna be coming without the AI at first. It'll be all electric to start off with, but they're saying 2023, 2024. And I know, you know, with vehicle prices being kind of crazy right now, this could be a solution to that if they get these out and actually rolling onto the streets. But yeah, an all electric version of that classic micro bus. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, quick turnaround. I mean, they are moving fast on that. They are. It looks so high tech. I'm, I'm kind of missing like the, uh, you know, the flowers and the peace signs on the side right. or like, where's the little like hula girl on the dash? Like, I feel like you got to make it like <laughs> kind of nostalgic yeah. or something, uh, you know? <laughs> definitely got to spruce it up a little bit so it's not metallic sci-fi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Combo of the two. Okay, <laughs> I, I could do without the little hula girl. Though. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's talk a uh, segue. They're uh, debuting a GPS enabled robotic lawnmower. So <laughs> tell us about that. Right. So I, I want to bring this up. I mean, if anybody's like me out there, I constantly somehow break my lawnmowers. So they're the classic gas powered ones. I don't know what I do. I run over stumps or something. So this seems like a really good idea to me. It's the first time we've seen a robotic lawnmower. They're out there. But usually what you have to do is lay like a wire down around your lawn so it knows not to cross it. This one is GPS enabled. So you actually just pull it up through the app. You draw a map of where your lawn is and then just let it go. And it will you know, potentially just continuously do this for you without ever having to touch it again. And so it's got a battery life that they said will cut up to 32,000 square feet of lawn with mm. one charge, but it also knows if it's out there mowing it, if it senses rain or the battery's getting low, it'll go back to its charging station, then finish the job later. It can go up to a 45% incline. So if you got hills, you can go over that. To me, it's, I love this idea because it solves a problem. It's tech solving a problem for me personally. Um, also, you know, it sometimes you don't want to go out and mow the lawn. Uh, the problem is the price tag's a little bit high. It's about three thousand dollars if you want to uh, get it. Yeah, so you got to really. It's not. It's a little bit too high for me to overcome. You know my my laziness factor. So <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go into that yet. But I do like the idea of where this is going. I mean, you think if they sell enough of these, maybe that price goes down. Other companies adapt the tech. Uh, maybe we won't have to uh, handle this anymore. I don't know. Yeah. That was as a kid. That was my my chore. I had to mow the lawn. That was one of my chores for allowance. So yeah, this would have been but, a great a great thing. Yeah, I was the only boy right. in the family, yeah. so that was my job by lawn. default. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I definitely did the old riding lawn mower, but uh, I just break the push ones. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Well, I solve that problem now by living in a condo. So. You could do that too. You could not have a <laughs> Let lawn. Let them handle the lawn. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> okay, so this story is trending right now. It's really interesting. A billionaire wants to design and build a super tech smart city. But you know, yeah. they, they say real estate is all about location, location, location. I don't, I don't know about this one. <laughs> right, yeah, so this guy's coming out with this plan. He says that this could be, you know, it's basically of the future of American smart cities. And he wants to start from scratch building in the desert so somewhere in the desert they're looking for property right now it sounds like nevada arizona maybe utah somewhere out there maybe colorado and the the idea is to grow this eventually to about 150,000 square acres is what they want to buy they said that they can have this thing populated by about 5 million people is what they want in 40 years but the the thing is they want it to be all high tech built from the ground up so smart city no fossil fueled vehicles everything's autonomous everything has 
um, essentially mass transit everywhere. So you're within 15 minutes of where you work, no matter where you live in the city. They're gonna have all this high-end stuff, basically harnessing all kinds of different green energy, whether it's solar power, wind power, water, everything else will be, be harvested through it. And yeah, he said that they can do this, the price tag's $400 billion is what he needs to get this completely done. So is it gonna happen? I don't know, but I do like the idea that they're at least coming up with concepts. So maybe some of this could get you know, adopted into to actual cities eventually. I don't know if they're gonna be able to get this thing off the ground. And again, building in the desert seems like an odd place to go do it. So I'm not really sure why it is they wanna do that. I guess you have a lot of solar power, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, this is, this is what he's proposing. Yeah, I mean. We'll see if he can get that off the ground. Is yeah. it, you can yeah. build it, but uh, how many people are gonna, are yeah. gonna move there? I don't know. wanna move there, yeah. Oh yeah, Telosa. That's the name of the city. That's what Telosa. they want to name. It. Telosa. Okay. Well, we'll follow this, and uh, we'll see uh, <laughs> if if anything comes to fruition from yeah. this. Yeah. I gotta yeah. Google Maps that one. See, see where <laughs> see where it pops up. Well, Greg, yeah. thank you as always for your for your tech wisdom. Always good to chat with you. Yep. Back to you next week. All right. We'll see.